Welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Review. Alright, before I get things started with the review, the first thing I'd like to say is how about them Kansas City Chiefs? Okay, so I had to cut that off because it went on a little too long. But anyways, back to the movie review at hand. We are talking about the new M. Night Shyamalan movie, Knock at the Cabin. This is also starring Dave Bautista, and I am really looking forward to this film because one, I am a big fan of M. Night Shyamalan, and two, I'm really looking forward to Dave Bautista kind of getting out of his superhero kind of area that he's in. I really enjoyed him in Blade Runner 2049, even though he had this very minuscule part. It was amazing, and it really showed off that the man does have some really good acting chops, so I'm looking forward to him taking the lead on this one. Okay, so this, the plot of this film, as far as I can tell from the trailer, is a story of a family that decides to have a nice little weekend getaway at a cabin in the middle of nowhere. While they're there, a group of people show up, and yes, they knock on the cabin door. They then take the family hostage and tell them that if they don't kill one member of their family, the entire world will be destroyed. Yep, it's an M. Night Shyamalan film. I'm sure there's all sorts of twists and turns and all sorts of good stuff like that. So, you know what? I am really tired of just sitting here yammering on. As I said, I am really looking forward to seeing this movie. So, it's time for me to shut the hell up and get out the door. And by the way, how about them cheese? Welcome back. Just getting home from checking out Knock at the Cabin. You know what, guys? This film is pretty solid. I enjoyed this movie from beginning to end, and I was kept wondering what was going on for a good portion of it. Or I shouldn't say wondering, but I was definitely curious to how things were going to unfold. All right, so we're going to get this started with the negative, and then I'm going to move into the positives of the film. Now, only really one thing bothered me about this movie, and that was it was kind of easy to figure out what was going on. There, This movie is a little bit different than a lot of M. Night Shyamalan films. It really just tells you straight out, this is it, here we go. It doesn't have a lot of stuff that you need to piece together. There are some mysteries in this film, but none of them really uh, you know, affect the story a whole lot. They're just neat little things that you kind of figure out as the movie goes along. Now, that's not necessarily terrible. It does not ruin the movie in any way, shape, or form. It's just not a typical M. Night Shyamalan film. So if you're expecting the who oh, is a twist, you're not getting it with this movie, and that's not a bad thing. I have been waiting to just see him do a non twisty movie for the longest time. I'm not someone who's seen every single M. Night Shyamalan film, so I'm sure there's something out there that doesn't have a little twist or in it. But it was very nice to not have something like that, to be perfectly honest. The acting in this film is also outstanding. This is apparently starting the positives. The acting in this film is outstanding, and of course our lead actor, Dave Batista just knocks it out of the ballpark. He is great as our lead in this, 
And then the family also, the family is great. The chemistry between the three of them is very realistic. You honestly get a great feeling that these three are a family unit. And then also to the, I, I'm just going to call them zealots for the sake of argument, are four zealots. They honestly kind of do have a bit of chemistry between the four of them also that make them very relatable to you, the viewer. So everything about this movie is very spectacular. I enjoyed it immensely. This is a film that I highly recommend that you get out there and check it out in theaters. This is not one that you're going to want to miss. I mean, yeah, if you have to, as I always say, always, if you can't get out and see it in theaters for reasons, then go check it out when it comes to streaming, rent it, whatever. This is a movie that you really need to check out. I truly believe that you will be really enjoy it from beginning to end. It does keep you wondering what's going on. The story just keeps building upon itself and building upon itself. Now, unlike the movie Infinity Pool, there are little breaks in all of the tension and suspense of this movie. They do little flashbacks, which are kind of nice and comforting, and it helps give, again, some more character development, mostly just to the family, and it really helps with the entire vibe of the film to make you feel like they are 100% a family unit. So yes, guys, this is definitely a movie that deserves to be seen in theaters. Get out there. Check this film out if you have the opportunity. Okay, guys, well, that is the end of that. This is the end of this film geek video. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's one more thing you can do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna... <laughs>